Hello and welcome. Today I will be synthesizing my VHDL code using IEC Project Navigator 14.7 and then simulating it using iSIM. I'll make a new project for that. Name it one. Next, I'll be using iSIM, so I don't need to make any changes here. Finish. So my code is already ready, so I'll have to add a source. But if your code is not ready, you'll always go onto new source and type your code. The left shifter first. So okay. So this is my VHDL code. I'll quickly synthesize it. Basically what my code does is it takes a 32-bit input and has the capability of shifting it 32 times. And it can shift from 0 to 32, any number between that and the user can give an input of more than 32 bits. A temporary signal here just simply takes the first 5 bits and performs the operation accordingly. Since I truncate the 7 to 5 bits I get a warning that these are never used in the code but in the actual hardware it might happen that they are used somewhere else and this universal bus can be used for my code. So since it's synthesized, I'll go into the simulation. Select Bureau's check syntax. It's done. Simulate Bureau model. That's how you sim. So I'll just enlarge this, make it in a readable format. Restart. Okay. So I need to force a value here. So I have already made some test cases. Let's just quickly copy the values. Force constant. I'll be trying something simple. So these don't show up now, but once I run the simulation, there you go. So this is the initial signal. You can see there are four zeros at the beginning and it ends with one one zero according to what I gave I wanted my design to perform a three bit left shift let's check whether it has done that so a three bit left shift since we need to start from here the 31st bit the 30th bit and the 29th bit they should be shifted here and yes they are so the 29th bit comes here the 0th bit goes here and that's right so this was the left shifter I'll just quickly close this yes and let's quickly simulate the right shifter file new project two HDL finish 
Again, I'll add my source. Okay. This is my right shifter. Similarly, I'll check synthesize. Now, why synthesize takes time is that it makes the RTL schematic, it views the technology key schemas, and it checks the syntax and does post synthesis analysis too. So it takes a bit of time. I get the similar warning here. I think I'm good to go. Using this. So we're back in ICM and this is the right shifter now. Let's float. Getting back in the readable format. Okay, let's restart. And false, false constant. Let's choose this. Okay. And now I want to shift it by. Mm, yeah. Four bits. Yes. I want to shift it by four bits. Okay, so I'm gonna run this. There you go. So, just to check, this is a right shifter, and so the bits should shift to the right. And after truncating the bits, I get the temporary signal as 00100, which turns out to be shift by four. So, shifting by four, the first four bits should disappear and come to the end and they have so again this was the right shift the previous one was the left shift it's a simple logic it's pretty fun implementing it thank you